Hello, and welcome to the April newsletter from Capital Design Private Wealth. My name is Hilton Kelly. I'm co-founder and financial advisor. This month, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the American Rescue Plan, specifically some enhancements to the Affordable Care Act. The first one is the enrollment for this year has been extended to May 15th, so you can go ahead and check that out on healthcare.gov. If you or someone you know doesn't have access to employer-based health insurance, Medicare, Medicaid, or other public programs, you're going to want to check out the website. One of the enhancements that's changed is the income cliff for subsidies has been eliminated for this year and next. For example, if you were a couple age 62 with $72,000 of modified adjusted gross income, last year you wouldn't qualify for subsidies. However, if you're enrolled this year, let's say in a silver plan, and your premiums are about $24,000 a year for that coverage, you would qualify for $17,000 in the form of a tax credit that you can use to offset those premiums. That means your health insurance premiums would net about $17,000 a year. Next, I'd like to talk to you about April 16th. It's National Healthcare Decision Day, and it's important. Why? Because adults of all ages need to plan for a healthcare crisis. When you make health care decisions ahead of time, it brings peace of mind to your family and loved ones. By having your wishes written, it enables your caregivers to advocate for you when you are unable to do so for yourself. Difficult situations can become more complicated when you leave loved ones guessing on what you'd want to have happen. Choose well and inform. You need to pick someone to make care decisions for you when you can't. They need to know the kind of medical treatment you want or don't want. They need you to define what comfortable means to you. You need to share with them how you want to be treated. They need to know what matters most to you. Now, your spouse or family member may not be the best choice to service this person because they could be involved too deep emotionally. The person you do choose needs to be 18 years older. In some states, that's 21. It can't be your health care provider. It can't be the employee or spouse of your health care provider, nor can that person be the health care agent for 10 or more people. So as a sample for some of the language that you can find in these documents, this person will make my health care choices if both of these things happen. First, my attending or treating doctor finds I'm no longer able to make health care decisions on my own, and another health care professional agrees with that choice. That springs into action your health care directives. Some of the language you can put in as an example is that you don't want to be in pain. You want to make sure your doctor gives you enough medicine to alleviate your pain, even if that means you'll be drowsy or sleepy. I don't want anything done that could hasten my death. And lastly, for an example, that you want to have food and fluids by mouth and to be kept clean and warm. That type of language is easy to understand. Now you may have all these important documents done and in place, but let me ask you, when was the last time they were reviewed? Is the language in there still relevant for you, for what you want to have happen? If you need to talk a little bit more about these type of concerns, uh, Andre and I have resources, feel free to reach out. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk soon.